didn't do it. Oh, hello. <laughs> yes, you can see I'm home once again. Boom and greetings. Haha. <laughs> you know, it's the little things of your lair that you miss. Like having coffee that wasn't brewed in your groin. <laughs> yes. Uh, I miss that. Mm -hmm. I don't even know, honestly, why I ever left. <laughs> Actually, I, I mean that. I, I have no idea why I, I left. That was my split personality who made that particular decision. A bad choice, as far as I'm concerned. Um, but now I am back with a broken, detached hand. <laughs> the one thing I do like is I like having a cult that comes to rescue me in the middle of the woods from the robot army who is trying to kill me because my split personality is their leader. <laughs> the, the robot army, not, not the cult. <laughs> I'm my cult's leader. A position I deserve even though I'm not entirely clear why they worship me. But it is a fact. Uh, it has been a time of self-discovery. Mm -hmm. For instance, I have discovered that I cannot eat anchovies. Ew. Ew. I hate them. <laughs> Do you know, my cult didn't try to find me because of the robot army. They had no idea. Ha! <laughs> Just a lucky coincidence. No, they came to find me because they had heard word through Facebook of an anti-euchre slapdown. That's right. And being particularly anti-euchre myself, I was all for it. Booyah! <laughs> Let's get those euchre types. That's right. The first thing I knew I needed to do was to train my cult from me worshippers into battle-hardened warriors. So I googled training videos and the first thing that came up was 1988's Teen Steam with Alyssa Milano. There's some particularly interesting deep knee bends in that video. Um, perhaps not so much into the battle training, but let me just say this. If I had memories of being 15, they would have to confiscate my hard drive. <laughs> That's a little cyborg humor for you there. <laughs> Don't worry, it's a soaker. <laughs> And so, after repeated viewings of Alyssa Milano's Teen Steam with uh, some slow motion <laughs> viewing, we realized we were late for the anti-euchre fight. Ha! So, we rushed out. Yes, me and my cult rushed down to where the fight was taking place at Young and Dundas Square, where I have done much of my evil villaining. And we knew it was there because on Facebook, that's where it said it was. I'm not sure otherwise why they chose such a location, except perhaps transit. I had a battle cry, and my battle cry is, Euchre sucks! Euchre sucks! Euchre sucks! Euchre sucks! Haha, <laughs> yes. I'm paraphrasing, of course. We got there, and the fight had already started. How embarrassing! And I turned to my cult, and I said, cult, get those euchre dweebs. And the cult said, uh, are you sure? And then I was all like, duh. And that was all the words of inspiration they needed. And then they waded into the fight and it was all like kapow and kaplooey and zap. It was awesome sauce, which is like tartar sauce, but with extra awesome. Pow and bam and zap. Cowbell. And then, out of nowhere, you know who showed up? The robot army. That's right. The one that's been chasing me all this time showed up and started fighting for the euchre dweebs. Ah! Oh, ah! I was so angry. I was like, frowny face, total frowny face. And then, out of nowhere, a hatch popped open on my cyborg side. Boop. And an antenna came out, and I was telling the robots what to do robotpathically. I guess that's why they wanted me so bad all that time, because my split personality 
had some kind of remote control on them. So I remote controlled the robots and they did what I wanted them to do. And they wiped the floor with those euchre dweebs. And then it was over and we'd won. And to celebrate, all the robots picked me up on their shoulders. Well, I, I told the robots to pick me up on their shoulders and parade me around Young and Dundas Square while singing songs of victory. <laughs> I think maybe some of my cult members were jealous. I have a new policy now not to celebrate victories with beings that I am not already controlling robopathically. <sighs> what a victory. You know, I wonder who those euchre dweebs were working for anyway. Hmm.